Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. In this video you will see in which direction the price of Ripple has moved recently. Additionally, you will find out what the technical indicators SMA, RSI and Stochastic RSI are predicting about its price and future movements. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. By taking a look at the hourly time frame for Ripple, the price moved up with around 2.1% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 46.7 cents. And the volume wasn't especially high, so this move wasn't very strong. Jumping to the hourly simple moving averages, the current price is above all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bullish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA could hold support or the price will break it to the downside below the current price of around 46.2 cents. Jumping to the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 61, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. Moving to the hourly stochastic RSI, currently, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are very high, meaning that the crypto is being high light bought and a change in the trend can be expected or for it to remain at least stable for some time. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so you should wait to see if the trend will actually go down. Looking at the three hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 20 and the 200 SMA. If the price bounces off the 20 SMA which is currently at 46.1 cents it could be seen as a support and the 200 SMA that is at 50.3 cents could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Moving to the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI is at 57, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. Looking at the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. Nevertheless, the K line has yet to cross the D line, so it's recommended that you wait and see if the trend does in fact go down. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price. So please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time.